Today's video is about photoresistors, also called light-dependent resistors, LDRs in short. Those semiconductors change their electrical resistance when exposed to light. You would say, not much of a topic for the video. Instead of using just plain photoresistor, you take a photoresistor sensor like this one, connected to Arduino, simple, just three pins, ground, VCC and the signal pin, and voila! LED is reacting to the light intensity changes. But wait! What if you want to know how the change of resistance is translated into Arduino input? If you do, we need to start from the beginning. <laughs> Maybe you want to stick around for a bit longer. As we said before, light-dependent resistor changes its resistance when exposed to light. I can easily demonstrate this by connecting photoresistor to the multimeter. As you can see, in the normal daylight, the resistance oscillates around 1.4 kilo ohms. If I cover the LDR, the resistance increases to over 6 kilo ohms. When I illuminate the face of the photoresistor, the resistance falls all the way down to 200 ohms. The big question is how to convert this change in resistance to Arduino input so we can react to it. This can be done with the use of the electronic circuit called voltage divider. In lame terms, it is a simple circuit which turns a large voltage into a smaller one. Using just two series resistors and an input voltage, we can create an output voltage that is a fraction of the input. Let's see how this works. Here we have 5 volt input voltage and two 10 kilo ohm resistors connected in a series. What would be a voltage measure in between those resistors? There is a formula used to calculate that voltage. If we do the math, we get the output voltage of 2.5 volts. Great! Now since an Arduino analog pin can convert input voltage ranging from 0 to 5 volts to values 0 to 1023, the output voltage from the voltage divider can be sent to Arduino analog pin so we can measure it and react to it. So what's going to happen if we replace the resistor in the upper leg of the voltage divider with photoresistor? Now with light intensity increasing, the resistance of LDR would decrease and the output of the voltage divider would increase. We also have an option of placing LDR in the lower leg of the voltage divider. In this case, with light intensity increasing, the output voltage would decrease. So let's create the voltage divider circuit with photoresistor in the upper leg and connect it to Arduino. We would use Arduino 5 volt and ground pins to power the circuit. Now we can measure the output voltage with a multimeter. With light intensity growing, the output voltage is increasing. I just moved to the room where I have light dimmer. Let's now connect the output of the divider to Arduino Analog A3 and also add LED connected to digital pin 10. Now that we have this set up, we can write a simple code to control the LED with the reading from the photoresistor. First, we declare both LDR and LED pins. In setup function, we declare LDR pin as input and LED pin as output. We also open serial monitor so we can see the values read from the photoresistor. In the main loop, we first output the photoresistor reading into serial monitor and then we check if the value read is below 250. If it is, we turn the LED on. If it is not, we turn the LED off. Let's gradually turn the light down. Now we can observe the serial monitor and see the exact moment where the defined threshold is reached and the LED turns on. If we are close to the threshold, LED flickers as the readings fluctuate being in turn above and below the threshold value. 
If we go decisively below 250, the flickering stops and the LED is fully on. When values go well above 250, the LED is off. So now let's revisit the circuit we built at the beginning of this video using photoresistor sensor. We use the same code changing just one line of code to adjust the threshold check as this divider probably has a different resistor values that would affect the reading on pin A3. The end result is the same as in case of the circuit we built ourselves. We can control LED with light intensity change. So you see that this photoresistor sensor is nothing more than a voltage divider circuit. We reached the end of this video. Before I go, here is the question to you. Looking at how this sensor works, LED turning on and off and the serial monitor output, can you tell me if the voltage divider built in into that sensor works exactly the same way as the one we built in the course of this video? Or maybe you see some differences. Leave your comments below. As always, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Subscribe and ring the bell not to miss my future videos. See you next time.